Yellowstone supervolcano, which has been dormant for so long, is beginning to breathe more deeply, not with a sky-shattering catastrophic eruption, but with a massive, measured release of thermal energy. Beneath the beautiful expanse of Yellowstone National Park lies one of the most powerful natural forces on the planet, a supervolcano that shaped the face of the Earth millions of years ago. While the landscape appears serene, with its expansive grasslands, sparkling lakes and herds of bison leisurely passing through, beneath the surface churns a massive magma ocean that stores immense thermal energy. On the surface, small geysers like Old Faithful appear mesmerizing. But beneath the regular eruptions of hot water and steam, scientists are reading the language of pressure and temperature conveyed by the Earth's crust. Each geyser eruption is actually an energy release valve, a way for the Earth to balance the heat pressure from below. Increases in frequency, temperature, or changes in eruption patterns can indicate more intense thermal activity beneath Yellowstone. This phenomenon has captured the attention of geologists and volcanologists worldwide because Yellowstone is no ordinary volcano. It is a supervolcano, a volcanic system capable of spewing thousands of times the volume of magma as a normal volcanic eruption. Although the likelihood of a major eruption is extremely low in the near future, any small changes in the hydrothermal system, such as increased steam pressure or heat anomalies around geysers, are considered warning signals from the Earth's depths. By studying the pressure, thermal temperature, and steam dynamics that power the geysers, researchers are trying to understand how the supervolcano's latent energy is gradually released and whether changes in these release patterns could be early signs of increased magma activity. In other words, Yellowstone's geysers are not just natural wonders, but also natural sensors that track the planet's pulse. In recent years, research teams from the U.S. Geological Survey USGS, and the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory YVO, have intensified monitoring of thermal activity in the region. Satellite data have revealed small fluctuations in ground elevation in some areas of Yellowstone, suggesting the movement of hot fluids beneath the surface. Although these changes do not yet show any potential for eruption, they remain a major concern because Yellowstone is one of the most complex volcanic systems in the world. According to Dr. Michael Poland, YVO coordinator, monitoring is conducted through a network of seismic sensors, ground deformation measurements, and monitoring of volcanic gases such as sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide. We don't see any signs of a significant increase in magma activity, he said in a scientific interview. But every small fluctuation teaches us something about how this system works. Meanwhile, scientists are also observing the behavior of geysers like Old Faithful, Steamboat and Castle Geyser. The fluctuating eruption patterns, both in terms of interval and strength, are the subject of extensive study. Some computer models suggest that the dynamics of the hot water beneath the geysers could reflect the pressure exerted in the magma chamber beneath a kind of window into the vast geological activity deep within the Earth. If the Yellowstone supervolcano erupts as it did 640,000 years ago, the impact would be global. Volcanic ash could blanket much of North America, lower global temperatures, and disrupt agriculture and aviation worldwide. But scientists emphasize that the likelihood of such a major event is extremely small, estimated at 1 in 730,000 annually. Nevertheless, mitigation efforts are ongoing. The USGS is collaborating with international research institutions to develop an early warning system based on geothermal and ground deformation data. Public education is also being intensified to ensure that even small amounts of activity at Yellowstone 
do not necessarily indicate a threat of a major eruption, but instead are a natural part of an active geothermal system. Today, Yellowstone doesn't explode, it speaks. Through its heat, steam, and vibrations, this supervolcano reminds us that the power of nature doesn't always come in the form of destruction, but also in the gentle yet powerful release of energy. For the millions of tourists who visit each year, Yellowstone National Park remains a stunning natural paradise. The beauty of its geysers, rainbow-colored hot pools, and majestic volcanic landscapes holds a valuable lesson. Beneath nature's serenity lies unimaginable power. As one young researcher in the area put it, Yellowstone reminds us that the Earth is a living being. It breathes, it moves, and occasionally speaks through its heat and steam. And with every geyser that breaks the silence of the valley, humans can hear the pulse of the planet's ever-changing life.